What's up, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing a a deck donation, a deck dono, as someone would call it. I don't know. I don't. I, I personally am not a fan of calling it that, but you guys can call it that if you'd like, because it's a way to support the channel. So we're doing black white. <coughs> it's like black white divine visitation, and we're making tokens with finale of glory, dread horde invasion, tithe taker, birth of Miletus. Uh, Ser Seraph makes tokens. Nightmare Shepherd makes tokens. That guy's pretty art. It's true. It's good art. It's creepy, but it's good. No, it's not creepy. Oh, it's. He's a shepherd made out of stars. I mean, if you look at these undead zombies, though. Like... No, you just don't look at that part of it. Okay, but you can't just make art not creepy based on what parts <laughs> you look at. <laughs> it's like. Well. You know, the Nightmare on Elm Street movies aren't really creepy if you just don't look at Freddy Krueger. Just don't look at him and you think so? Them. Okay. Kaya's Wrath. Soren, which is nice because it gets back uh, Tithe Taker. It doesn't, that's all it gets back, right? Emerger Shriner? Oh, I'm already. Oh, I guess you can get a, a Seraph back. But the life gain's nice, right? Liliana Dreadhorde General. I'm a big fan of that. Athreos Shroud Veiled. As long as your devotion to Void Black is less than seven, it is not a creature. At the beginning of your end step, put a coin counter on another creature. Whenever a creature with a coin counter dies, or is put in exile, mm -hmm. return that card to the battlefield under your control. Okay. So you just a coin counter is an interesting. He saves lives. Marker. Well, because he's he's ferrying people to the yeah to the to the underworld. It's very on theme. And then you got Theoral Absolution, another card that makes tokens and is just really it does a lot. Like I like these three like six mana silver bullets here. But Frank, you're right. If you don't look at Freddy, he ain't creepy. That's true. Just don't look at that part. Katie is gonna make a good politician. <laughs> we don't really like your your. We don't really like your position on these on these two specific issues. Is there anything you could say about those? Yeah, don't look at them. Yeah. Hmm. Pretend like they're not there, and we'll just keep going about our. You know, business. that's a good. That sounds like a Parks and Rec uh, line, actually. Three left solution number two in the sideboard. Two mortify. Two Conor Kuneros. One Kaya, two Dispark, which I actually love. I think this card's great. Uh, it doesn't get rid of Euro or, like, Croxa, though. Two Noxious Grasp, two Glass Casket, one Dranith, and two Duress. Let's let's play this deck and see what we're working with before we make all kinds of changes to it. Hi, Shua Garner. Oh, Shua Garner, what up? I would say Freddy is also creepy sounding, though. Well, don't listen to him. It's <laughs> Yeah, that's messed up. <coughs> I'll play first. Did Can we you... do a stream on my birthday, Frank, on the 15th? What day of the week is that? Let's find out. Uh, Saturday? Yeah, we for sure can probably do that. Saturday! Ooh. Streaming cards! Ooh. Think they want to put your life. I can't. This is the deck's namesake, so I kind of want to keep it, but it's also... You biscuits! Come here. This is this is what I deal with all day. Come here. Get under the desk. Sit there. <laughs> Stay. Nothing even happened, you little. You guys know there's a hunter emote, right? You guys can just use the hunter emote. Yeah, who's that? Who's that other guy? That's doggy? Franker Z. Oh. I think it's Franker Z. Frankers? I don't know, man. Do I just put this on the bottom for Super Fritz? You tell me, man. It's gotta go. Yeah. I have nothing. Wow, Hunsey's doing big boof. <laughs> oh, there's Franker Z. This is my life now. Hunter heavily disagreed with that scry bottom. <laughs> you, you you might say they all did. Oh, good, another sword. Soren's not really doing much, unfortunately. Did you? I thought you left it out before we started streaming. No. Okay. I relax if I have no idea what that emote is, and I'm not sure I want to. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just end the turn here. We got a murderous rider to kill this guy. You have many children interrupting your work. Welcome to 2020. Buddy, you ain't kidding. 
Saturday. In Shut the up park. and take my money. One buck of never <laughs> despair. Oh boy. That did. But okay. <coughs> Four three. Now I'm just gonna play. Seraph. People laughing, people smiling. Um, so we block. They got first strike, right? These dogs are. Burp. Oh god, I'm gonna take it. I'm, I don't think they got six, and they can't. They can't ember cleave us here. So. How'd they do? Um, I just put Hunter outside. <laughs> I locked the little boys in the room, but then I forgot Kitty was in there, and I was like, I should not lock them in here. So Kitty. is Hunter still outside? No, he's. Okay, everybody's in. Yeah. Did he do poopsies? Yeah. <clears throat> and peas. Oopsies and peas. Oh wow. It got crazy out there. So we play this, we take two, we got a four, we gain four. And then we keep vigilance. Vigilance, hmm. vigilance. A man selling ice cream. <laughs> giving creatures vit. Oh my god, I can't. Thank you. This is my life now. Garrett, thank you for the five more resubs. Resub the gifted subs, buddy. Really appreciate it. Thank I apologize for the uh, the canine interruptions. You know what? We'll just do it. Thank you. Thank you. Right. <laughs> He's running away. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. That cat's heavy. The cat's heavy? <laughs> yeah. I lifted him down from that box in the closet. He's run real heavy. Why not Wrath? Because we were at six and they get two guys and we get two guys so I'd rather just start gaining life and then wrath after that but canine interruptions <laughs> actually they get a bunch of guys right they would get two they would get four guys like it seems pretty rough oh they're just both going at Soren <laughs> without an axe That tells me they likely don't have Embercleave, or else they would have also attacked with an axe, but... Sure. You will become dust. <laughs> That's so ridiculous. I know. You're doing <clears throat> big boofs. Dear. I was like, eh. <clears throat> is it my turn? What did I draw? Another nightmare ship? I'm just an innocent lady. Okay. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Biscuits crying, living in the. Cave. They got big creatures. Yeah, it's true. 
What does that guy say? Who? The 5 3. Uh, whenever Annex or another non token creature you control dies, create a 1 1. Mm. If the creature had a 4 power greater. So they make 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 creatures if we if we wrath here. That's not ideal. Mm -mm. Well, we're doing that. So we're at 11. I, mean, I wish I had a way to just deal with this guy. I think we're just going to play Murderous yeah. Runner here. <clears throat> oh my god, they're being so bad. I'm going to get this back. And the turn. Kitty cats in. What's that guy say? This? White, vigilance, black, dead dead. Okay. And then afterlife too, so when she dies, yeah. you get two one ones. Twin ones, if you will. Twin ones. What would you like to do for dinner? I'm gonna have leftover pizza. Okay. You want tacos? Yeah, I'm fine with that. What if TV news had donations and you could donate a dollar and Walter Cronkite would say your name? <laughs> I feel like a news would have a, a, a higher donation amount. Like you'd have to donate like five dollars to Cronkite. I feel like we're doing surprisingly well because they're holding back this annex and don't seem to have Ember Cleave, but you know, what do I know? They could have Rimrock Knight or another Shock, gets rid of Murderous Rider. What's up, Frank and Katie? You really need to give seafood a chance again. All that I'm saying. Let's give seafood a chance. Um, we don't need death touch here, right? So we're just gonna let, gonna let death happen. Moochel is at work. They're coming home from work. Everybody always asks this, like they don't understand that Michael has a job. He has a life outside of us. We raised him to be an independent man. I don't have all four drops in my hand here, Super Fritz. <clears throat> Rock and roll ain't noise pollution. All right. Oh, it does. It's put, I thought I put it in the battlefield tap. That's my bad. How's that my fault? I'm just eating tiramisu. <clears throat> well, I guess that's true. Ever since he quit Raid, we haven't been able to track him via credit card purchases, so we are curious. <laughs> <laughs> that checks out. Singing Michael B. songs. You guys, I got two new monitors and they came in the mail today. Because it'd be weird if they came a different way. Yeah, so they came in the mail. Because <laughs> they decided the the shipping the shipping company decided that was the best way to go about it. Mm -hmm. They were like, "We'll just put them in the mail. It seems better than driving and buying a car or something." My monitors came by stork. I mean, I guess I can't eliminate the like mine might have come by stork. We weren't there at the exact moment, right? So it's it's a pause. It's like a Schrodinger's monitor. It's like both ship by stork and not by stork at the same time. Yeah. Well, that's wild. Okay, so they could shoot this. Like we just never can't. We can never trade with these because they always have stupid. Cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm just taking this. No blocks. Kill me if you can. This is also eight damage. Is there any way I can deal one more damage? Probably not. I just want to draw away. Oh, I guess they could kill one. Is there any way I could deal with two more damage? Can I get a shock? You got it. 
Which would you rather have, excluding cost and supplies, a housekeeper or home cook? Housekeeper. 100%. I was going to say home cook. Really? Why well, not It's probably both? better for you because of gluten things. Yeah, and I wouldn't have to come up with, like, meal ideas. <laughs> like, they could just provide me with a menu, and I'd be like, oh, that sounds good. I like that. I could be friends with them. They could eat dinner with us. It's very nice of them. Yeah, I definitely should have played this last turn. That would have been a big difference. We get a wall here. But, maybe we're Kaya's. Kaya's ing. You know, play the one that they can see. Well, they get to watch, they can see both. Once I put the one they can't see, then this one goes away. Oh, I see. If you have multiples of a thing, <clears throat> they'll always play the one they can see. Oh. You don't have to actually physically choose that one, which is actually a pretty sweet feature. Yeah, that's nice. I have no way to gain... I guess I'm going to gain five here, right? That's actually pretty pretty good. If they do have a Castle Embereth, and they're going to make one, two, three, four, five guys. And we're going to make two. Hmm. This game's going to be close. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. My insides. Are you two going to have one of those gaming rooms that's split down the middle and your half is goth black and Frank's is princess pink? I think you know my, my side would definitely not be goth black. Oh. Oh, mine would be the princess pink. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That seems accurate. Actually, they'd probably look very similar because we have very similar tastes in Good to know they have a second bone crusher guy in hand. Decor. Oh, wait, you gain how much life? Um, <clears throat> oh, they only make four instead. Oh, they make five, okay. Uh, I gained five because I have five creatures. I gained four because I had four creatures mm. after they killed one, so. <sighs> so we block two. We still take six if they castle Embereth. So we go to two. Then we get a wall. We play Nightmare Shepherd, then we take another two. Yeah, this is probably lethal, actually, if they... Castle Embereth's a hell of a card. Just a free yeah. land that you get to pump your team with. Oh! Buttery biscuits! Sweet top deck. Um, having a housekeeper or home cook <coughs> sounds weird. Their place of work is your home, and it's kind of odd to think about. I guess I do get really uncomfortable when, like, the internet people come, and I feel like I have to help them with their job, and so I just kind of awkwardly stand around, and I'm like, do you need water? What are we talking about? Like, people working in your home. Yeah, I remember you're like, don't, don't forget, you hired him. He works for you. Remember that? From the, yeah. The commercial. But I feel like... It's less awkward the bigger your house is. Like, I feel like if you had, like, this huge mansion... Like, a then... house like our size is kind of, like, silly. Right. But I feel like if you weren't, like, on top of them the whole time they were around, like, you could leave and go somewhere else, then maybe it wouldn't be as awkward. I mean, I don't want to take out Dreadhorde because it's kind of like a centerpiece of the deck, but... But you do want to take it out? Yeah, because it does deal us damage. So okay, take it like... out. <laughs> Alright, well. You can do whatever you like. Yeah. Oh boy. You can do that. You hot? Maybe. Don't worry about it. Hmm. I'm gonna play Birth of Miletus. He's gonna come right out of the birth canal. Fervently? Er Thank you! Oh, this guy's more fervent than the Birth of Miletus. Cubs, what up? Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. <clears throat> Good seeing you, Chris. I'll take this one. This is the one I choose. Oh, can Kai they, can exile both of these. Can they see it when you move your cards around? 
them? No. Hmm. See, because you'll notice their, their cards never move anywhere, so. Yeah, but maybe they're boring. Uh, but I've never seen an opponent's cards move, so. I think it would be too distracting while you're trying to make your plays if you just kept seeing this all the time. You know? <laughs> this will be child's play. The flicking <laughs> speed increases. This time. Bravo. It's also kind of a tell, like, you can see how, how, how nervous they are. <laughs> or if they're, like, rushing you and they're, like, flicking faster and faster and faster and they're, like... How else am I going to annoy my opponents? Well, you'll have to find other ways. Like, like just keep spamming, like, your go over and over. Like, our opponent yesterday was, like, I, I whiffed on Genesis Ultimatum, and they were, like, good game. And then I ended up crushing them anyway. Did you say good game back? Yeah. And then they disconnected because they were sore magic losers. Players. They can always dish it, but they can't take it. Murder of Rodham. I'm late to meditation anyway. Mm -hmm. <coughs> it's a murderous rider. What's that from? Um, oh, they just killed our wall. That's wild. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's that from, guys? What's that? What's that actual song? I'm having trouble placing it. Me too, and it's real awkward. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, it is by the doors. It's a. Fuck, I really can't think of it. Uh, it's wild, dude. Riders on the storm. It's definitely not Riders on the storm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Just because it has riders in it does not mean it's Riders on the storm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Riders on the storm. I think it is, actually. It's a murder. I mean, we've just changed it to be Marshall I don't think it is. I'm with you. House of Shadow. Yeah, pay all that mana. Okay. Is that four four fours? Yeah. Do they have any abilities? They're Sarah Angels, basically. That's a good that's a good looking token. That's that's great angel art. That's like comic worthy angel art. Her legs are real long. She's an angel, Katie. She can have as long as legs as she wants. I mean, your wings are only so strong. Maybe yours are. She always does this. It's, <sighs> like it's always some kind of... Mr. Mojo Rising? Coast is definitely on Michael B. Awesome. Somebody time JWCT out. That that kind of talk's not acceptable here. Is it because you see? Yeah, that's not okay. Oh my god, I think it might be LA Woman. Okay, this is actually pretty insane here. <laughs> this game's over now. Oh, wow. I'm gonna attack. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> oh, good times. There was nothing he could do. Hold on, I'm looking up LA Woman lyrics. LA Woman. Guess you really gotta add lyrics to the end, even though it's a extremely well known song. Hold on. It might be it might be Mr. Mojo Rise and Rise. Yeah, I think that I think that's literally the same part. I think that's literally what we're talking about here. I think that's it. Oh wow. I feel like we found it. 
really solved oh. all of your life's problem. Oh, our first our first payment is due. Perfect. On which? On the bed. Oh. This hand seems good. You got turn two this, turn three this, turn four this. Like a little, little tinny. This is little tinny. Little tin tin. Oh no. What's um? What's happening? Do I want two of these? I'm scrying. Mm. I think so, right? I'm yeah. Just good enough. I can't imagine not. I get so many emails from Experian since I, like, checked my credit on there. And it's okay, because, like, they actually give me good information that I want, but I just wish they gave me less of it. Look how many eBay emails you have. <laughs> it is a lot. You're an addict. Hey, listen. Maybe. Where'd your guy go? Did he disappear? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? What's our castle do? Our castle makes a 1-1 one, one mm. for four. Well, that's pretty good. Is this an artifact enchantment? It's just an artifact? Nice. Seems good. I'm gonna play my dog. Go doggy. Is this three it's dogs? Your birthday. If you if someone brought Kunaros into the vet, would this be three dogs or no. one dog? Be one dog? One dog. What do you what clarifies that? I only have to listen to one heart. What if he Okay. Okay. I gotta check three miles, but I only have to listen to one heart, so I'd classify it as one dog. Okay. What if what if he was getting dental a dental done? <laughs> then we would charge him for three dentals. <laughs> Well, that's something. Doggos are not allowed on the bed? Mm, that's false. This person is a monster. JWCT, you're really, you're really showing your true colors here, like... Like Cindy Lauper over here. Who doesn't allow puppers on the bed? Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. That's weird. We I feel legitimately like, bought a new bed. So, so that, that we'd have more room for dogs to be on the bed. On the bed with us. It's also like, um, yeah, I think we're just dead. Like this, de this deck is so stupid to play against. Like, Embercleave rotates, right? I don't think it does actually, because it's. Not only does the pupper go on the bed, they usually go on top of either me or my wife. Yeah, boy. We know that feel. Same, buddy. Okay, let's see what's happening here. Let's know. see what's happening. Let's see what's going on. I think you just want four birth of Miletus. I agree. Wow. That was a quick that was a quick agree. Like it's just another two drop that you want to have. What does Tithe Taker do? Did we even draw that card? Uh during your turn spells your opponent's cost cast costs one more and activated abilities cost one more. And then afterlife one, so it makes a token. Hmm. It's pretty good. It's okay. Um I don't think I care about the nightmare shepherd. I think it's just too slow to like do anything. This is not my preferred four drop. Gonna see your true color. Why don't, now I have Cindy Lopper's true color stuck in my head. And I have no idea who did it. Who did it? Did you do it? Oh my god. What did you do? When did you when did you sing this? I didn't. You said that J Dub was showing his true colors. <sighs> or okay. their true colors. But you colors, looked around real apologies. suspiciously. I was just checking out our green screen. Is that what you were doing? Mm-hmm. I need a blanket, it's cold. Okay, I'll shut this off. But I think <laughs> Michael's home. Little boys heard him. I didn't even hear him. I didn't either. It's kind of impressive. <laughs> That's my honey. I also added four drop of Johnny. I actually cut Dreadhorn Invasion myself. I didn't feel like it was good enough. What? My God, man. I'm looking through cards and seeing what's good. Checking it twice. Like Santa Claus. Find out who's naughty and nice. Was it was it Michael Bain? It was. Basri's lieutenant actually seems real sweet here. Vigilance pro multicolored. Puts counters on creatures. And whenever this or another creature you control dies, if they get have one one, they get a big knight. How am I liking new standard? Is it better than new coke? Well, probably not. New coke is a pretty high bar, but 
New Coke. So I'm going to take out Sheppy. Sheppy and Dreddy. I'm going to put in... Bassery. I'm also going to take... Bassery. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the Kaiser Rats in the sideboard, maybe? I just feel like we're putting a lot of dudes out and not like... I don't want to Kaiser Rat them away. I also don't feel like it's like, what do we want to be doing? Why are they still going? Because they never got to see Michael. And they miss him. <laughs> they want us to know that they miss him. Everything here I like. I almost like more finales, to be honest with you, but... Yeah, I feel like that card is pretty good. Craft them all. You owe Michael money? What does that even mean? That's wild. Did I take a Seraph out? I don't like that. We got two slots. What's going on here? Who you talking? It's your phone that Oh my buzzes. god, it's, it's your family. It's Jamie and, and your dad. <laughs> it's literally your family. No, well, yeah. I keep wanting to gain life, but I'm like, wait, that's not what the deck cares about. The deck cares about putting, making tokens. Jamie sent a Reddit link in the group chat, and my dad can't figure out what a Reddit link is. Oh, Eliminate seems good here. We can play two Eliminates. Let's play Walking Corpse. Um, I don't. No, <laughs> no, I have I'm not. The classic two two for two. <laughs> With lots of abilities. No. It's less to read. I came to say hi. Oh god. Oh god. That was... Why is he like this? Nailed it. <laughs> I came to say hi. Every time I could sneak up, I told Chad I loved him. Michael B says he loves you guys. But I gotta go for a walk. Michael has to go for a walk. Yeah. Did, Did you, you see not your walk? hats, Michael? Did you not walk at lunch, Michael? It was raining. I couldn't. Oh. Typical story. Well, you could have. You just would have gotten wet. Yeah, and then I had to be all dripping wet in the office and look like a weirdo. Yeah, well, you weirdo. Maybe you should have brought a change of clothes, Michael. Like the, I go, like going to the much gym. Work, okay? I'm only so much not lazy, all right? <laughs> have a good walk, Michael. Be safe. Don't or get don't. kidnapped. Or get kidnapped. It's up to you. No, don't. We have to pay all the rent. Yeah, that's true. Wait, why isn't it showing me gold cards? Like, where are the gold cards? You don't have gold selected. Oh, I do. No, I just, I don't have, I only have Corset 2020 select, 2021 selected. Let's look up token. Let's see what token does. I want to maximize my tokenage because I'm maximizing my Are my the ones divines. that are grayed out you just don't have? Yeah, I just got to oh. make them. Okay. You got to craft them, like craft dinner i love craft mac and cheese she really does mm. Uh. Mm. raise the alarm mm. nine out of ten michael kidnappers never let them come home wow that's a crazy statistic i love you i'm going for a walk that is what michael b's dad said <laughs> He never came back. I think a Johnny's great. I just don't think we need more four drops. We have six four drops. Nine four drops so far. What do you think we need? Early game? What do you want? Yeah, I want some cheap creatures that make tokens. Raise the alarm is I'm leaning towards. I also kind of don't mind one God Eternal of Ketra. I mean, instead of a 4-4 four, four black zombie, it would make a, an angel. But also, if you don't have Divine Visitation, this just makes guys... I almost think God Eternal Locatra is better than Divine Visitation, but I don't know. Which one's Divine Visitation? What's it do? The one that makes that turns all your tokens into four fours. With the oh, I light. think we should just play more Finale of Glory and take that out. Ooh, what about? Wait, what? This just makes two twos though. Oh wait, is Divine? Oh. This turns every token you make uh, into a four four. So if you make a one one, it just yeah. becomes a four four. So mm. it's kind of like the centerpiece of the deck. another four drop i know it's just there's i don't what if we take out the soren's great for the lifelink but maybe you just want the elspeth instead i kind of like elspeth makes two tokens dawn of hope seems fine i just don't want to commit to the engine just yet like the, the all the life gaining because i mean we're not getting a ton of guys back we only have tithe taker murderous rider's never going to be in a graveyard so we basically only have tithe taker and like these two to get back and like one of getting one of these back kills kills the soren because Soren's negative X return a creature. And he starts at four, so you usually just play him and then like return a Seraph. 
Boros Reckoner in classic Kerwood style. Not a bad suggestion. Is it though? I also don't mind Timoret Calls the Dead. Mm. Connect solid creature enchantment from your graveyard if you do. Create a 2 2 black zombie. All right. We're going to do some change in here. I like that they made Mel a keyword. How many lands are in this deck? Oh, wait. What? Wait, they did? Yeah. Did you miss? Even I knew that, and I don't even follow magic. Oh my god, I don't think I knew that. Yeah, they made Mel a, a keyword so that you know what it does. They tried to come up with a different word, and they why? said that they couldn't, so they... Like, why bother, just though? Just it make Mil. it just call it Mill. It's like the perfect call. It's like the perfect name. It's already there for you. Woe Strider might not be bad. It makes a goat. Go, 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 go. Um, okay, I'm going to take out the Sorens. I, I hate... I'm, I'm, I'm loath to do so. I'll put three Timorets in here. Riders on the Timoret. <laughs> is, ca is Glass Casket better than just Banishing Light? I don't think it is. I mean, I'd also rather have Eliminate. I think Eliminate's just better than Glass Casket by a lot by a sizable margin. Destroy a creature planes longer than permanent. So like they're both getting rid of something with three or less, but yeah. this this can't be destroyed, and this also yeah. has planeswalkers. So like it just feels significantly better. The birth of Miletus. It seems very intimate. Birth is an intimate thing. Were you there for the birth of Miletus? I was there for the birth of the lady on Handmaid's Tale. You mean the daughter? Yeah, when the lady was giving birth. I like to just say the lady. That's <laughs> if you like, you have no idea what her name is. Yeah, the Offred. lady, the main lady. Alfred and Elizabeth June. Moss is her. Her actor isn't actor. June her name? Well, that's her. Yes, but I'm talking about her real life name. I really love that Soren. I really love that Soren. I try to put in all these cool decks. In. I actually love that Soren a lot, but I think you want to be attacking aggressively with it. And I, I, I don't think we're doing that. But I, I agree with you. I think that Soren is great. I also kind of like Ugin. Credit to call a spirit creature token. When that token leaves the battlefield. Wait, does it still do that if it leaves the battlefield, though? What's your question? Okay, so Ugin says, Exile the top card of your library face down and look at it. Create a 2-2 two -two colorless spirit creature token. When that token leaves the battlefield, put the exiled card into your hand. And Divine Visitation says, if one or more creature tokens to be created, that many 4-4 four -four angels are created instead. Yeah, when that says create, you do that. Right, but when this when that creature leaves the battlefield, would you still put the exiled card into your hand? Because is it the same creature? It does it. Yeah, it's the same token face. It's just transformed into a different. <clears throat> well, I'm putting one Ugin in here. Eugene, Eugene. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, is this non-token when or another creature? Oh, it's any creature you control dies as long as they have a couple. So we can. I want to play Timurit into Basri's Lieutenant. Oh, that seems good. Plus, the more Timurits and the more Divine Visitations we have, like the better chance of hitting. Um, all right, let's try this. Wait, Music Manly is saying no, it's a different creature because it says instead, right? Well, the creature type <sighs> you're making is instead. If one or more creature tokens would be created, that many 4-4 four, four are created instead. Oh, it doesn't make them into 4-4s. Four, okay, wait, go back to Eugene. Create a 2-2... Two, two. I think that you would make the 2-2, two, two, you would trigger the 4-4, four, four, you'd make the 4-4, four, four, the token would immediately leave, and then you'd immediately get his the second part of his trigger. The when that token leaves the battlefield. Interesting. I mean, it's a replacement effect, so that would, that would be like the only... We're going to try it out. Okay. We're going to see what happens. How Can I just... It's weird that I can't play from here. Like, yeah. I just want to be like, play match, but now I have to go back to home and then hit play. 
and then do this. I don't know. I got an email. I got an email from ABC in my in my promo emails, and I'm just like, why? Why are you sending me this? Where's the unsubscribe button? Click on the see more. Update your show preferences. I don't know what that means. I just don't want to. No, I want to not get this email anymore. Oh, stop all types of future commercial email. Yes. I don't know why. Don't think oh, it's from the, it, maybe it's from Walt Disney. Oh, because... Oh, you never get the 2-2 under your control. Wait, let me read that card again. That's interesting. I don't have it right now. But y you do. It's it's right there. This? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, in, it's instead, so it's a replacement what? effect. Oh. That's a key word there. Yeah. So maybe it doesn't work. We'll see. I don't think it does. I think we're mulliganing this hand. I agree. Okay. Yes, Frank uses hair product. I don't have anything right now, though. No. But he does sometimes. That's true. I sometimes do have hair product in my hair. No. Um, Unsubscribe from all. Thank you. ABC's like, hey, you want to watch our shows? And I'm like, no, because that would require me getting cable. Just guy, huh? Shadow this guy. Aether, Aether Gust is great against the... This is just a blank, right? Choose target yeah. spell or permanent this very green. Like, we're just playing black, white, and they just can't do anything about that? Let's get rid of Narset. <laughs> Such violence is upsetting. That's okay. You'll be all right. I knew the perfectly quaffed quaff wasn't just his natural beauty. This is literally has nothing in it. Like, this is just my hair. This is just his natural beauty. This is just my hair. It just needs a haircut. He's just so cute. Okay. <laughs> you get out of here. Oh, I'll just take your other Narset. I can see. Well, you did. So look at this, My Little Pony sleeve. Wow. Which pony do you think that is? Uh, Moon Biscuit. Moon Biscuit. Moon Moon Biscuit. Two moons there? Have you guys watched Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist? No. What is that? That's. I think good. I've seen that once, like many years ago. It's kind of old, huh? It's kind of old, huh? Is that right? Wow, they top decked Absorb. The first, the first turn I draw a threat, they top deck Absorb. Fantastic. Let me see. Mm, oh no, I lied. I have not seen this. Wow, Absorb into Narset. Solid draws all. Oh, this is not at all what I was thinking of. I was like, a whole season. Wherever I go, you're gonna go see Biscuit. See Biscuit. Have you seen Sea Biscuit? I have not. Sea hmm. Biscuit and me. We know the both cards in our hand. Oh, that's a draw. That's Eugene, a draw. You Gee. All right. really all I'm here for. That, that's fine. What is this? Outlaw's merriment? All right, I'm just going to exile that. Oh, yeah, we're doing it. You getting that? Oh, yeah. He comes with two hands. One has the, the whip, and one is just a handshake hand. A little... Like this. So you could handshake him? I could. He's a little tiny though. It doesn't come out till like next year though. Oh, so what happened? Just to be clear? Yeah. Looks like they played a... Yep. Their top decks are fantastic. Lady. They've top decked literal counterspell for my Seraph. Narset the turn after that. And then a Narset to deal with the, um, the Ugin. So. I think I was thinking of... Very good. Um... Eugene? Is that movie like 500 Days of Summer or something? I don't know. I feel like all those titles really run together in my head. Are they still in the bedroom? Yeah. Oh, they could probably come out. You think? You know, Michael's going to come home from his walk. That's <sighs> true. That's true. But um, they could come out till then. He's probably going to walk for 
The problem is 30. this isn't impactful next turn. I want to bottom it. I can get. I can do better. Oh yeah, Nick and Nora's infinite play. Like all these movies are just kind of like the same movie in my head. That's what it feels like to me too. Also, I'm getting National Geographic emails, and I'm like, what's going on? Why am I getting these? Maybe. I mean, I'm a fan of National Geographic, don't get me wrong, but I don't know why I'm getting spam emails for, for them. I do. You promised me you guys would watch Frail Frailty. Did we promise that? I don't remember promising it. Somebody else also said it was great. We have a pretty long list of things to watch. It's true. What's frailty about? Is it sad? Oh, it's a horror movie. Many paths. It has Matthew McConaughey in it? Really? Well, we just can't win because their draws are fucking insane, so. much different that drink's just coming right up going right in my mouth eugene eugene now it's in my head you did you've done this is that true okay seems good i sent you money to rent it oh wow we better watch it I don't even remember this for some reason. I'm usually good at remembering stuff like this, but. Look at this dog. I don't know, he's got a messy beard. I still love him. Well, someone has to. I'm glad it's not you. That I'll. That... Imagine, you had, imagine if you had bone bits in your beard. And I just never cleaned it. You just never cleaned it. Day after day after and day. And you were just like, you need to clean your beard. And I'm like, it's not what I do. Sorry, baby. I don't clean his beard. Oh my god. It was right before you left Logan. We'll put it on our list. I think it's way more likely for me to download it uh, off the internet than to set up a DVD player and have you send it to me and put it in said DVD player. I'm sure, because your plans are this green or white. Oh boy. Okay, so. Um. Taking birth out. Put in these two. Um, put in. You don't have a disk drive on your computer? No, no, I don't. It's twenty. It's twenty twenty, man. I haven't needed a disk drive for a computer in ages. In fact, I can just show you my computer. I'll move the the dog cam. This is my PC. There's no disk drive anywhere to be found. And there's some VR stuff. Oh, there's Captain America Shield too. And some comics. There you go. You got a little side side office tour. Sideshow. <laughs> All right. That's how it works, right? Yeah, that's close. That's that sounds right. Uh, I also want these doggies in here. Wally's here. Well, that's perfect then. Gonna bonk his little head on your microphone. Uh-oh, come on up here, little guy. Shut up and 
Oh, uh, it's not fixed on the wall, but it actually can be. More money to download Frailty for Michael's birthday. <laughs> okay, Frailty's definitely... You gotta I, change your rent thing. I know, I haven't yet. As you can tell from me having to tell me that I have to change it. Cool, cool hand. God. This is how we die. <laughs> Didn't get to play. This is how... <laughs> Frailty. Okay. Um, well, if we draw a black mana, this hand's actually great. So we probably won't. Yeah, that's what I figured. You hear those geese? Kaka. Kaka. They finally did it. Article by Frank Lepore. That's correct. Is it? And. Oh, they cracked this on my turn. Got it. Hello, my son. Oh, yes, another... Another card. Finale for zero for the flex. Solid strategy. I think we're playing some Luigi's Mansion. Oh, hey, finally. Hey, yeah. I'm ready to conquer some ghosties. I'm glad that some people seem to like it so much. I do too. I kind of thought it would just be me that would like it and we'd have to drag along the viewers with us. That'd be sad. Mm, you're legendary so you can go. Riders on the storm. I'm ready for the sucking <laughs> and blowing jokes. Everyone is. It's kind of the this old chestnut, eh? Chestnut Let's roasting like on an open rapids. fire. Katie's roasting on an open fire. Yep, make it two-two. We have five on board. We just have to get rid of this stupid idiot. I can't wait to see Christmas carols when it's Christmas time. We were just singing. When it's Christmas time? Oh, that's right now is not good enough? I mean, it's almost Christmas Jack time. Frost nipping at your nose. Wasn't it toes? Or is it nose? This guy's got pro multicolor, right? Nice. Yuletide carols being sung by Katie and Matt. Dressed up like Eskimos. They said they said nose. Of course it's nose. Would indicate frostbite. Yeah, but when I go outside, and my toes are the coldest part. Colder than your nose? Yeah. You never felt my feet at night time? My prowess is unmatched. With thoughtfulness before action. Oh, I didn't. I missed the thing. <laughs> are you walking around without shoes? Pretty much. It doesn't matter how many layers I work on my wear on my feet, but my toes literally never. And warm. so I offer you this simple phrase. We're gonna make Michael go caroling with us. Do we need to do a Katie shoe fund? I think we need a Katie shoe fund. No, you have a job. Yeah. You can you can get your shoes. I see this is my job. So it's harder when people do funds for other people cuz <laughs> then they're just taking like li they're literally just like using my stream. Okay. Michael does it too, so it's okay. <laughs> but uh it literally just becomes a vehicle for other people to get to get money. Yeah. Whereas uh it's my source of income, so it's kind of awkward for me. It's like if I went to job, went to your work and I was like, hey, instead of you getting paid, what if I got paid instead and it could be my your shoe comic fund. shoe fund, my comic fund? He big mad. He's not big mad. Let's see if they top deck a counterspell, guys. I bet they have one. I was just going to cycle their try on. Mm. Okay. Oh, 
I sit cross-legged wherever I go, too. Hearthstone has more viewers than Magic because Hearthstone is made by Blizzard, and Blizzard is a solely digital company. All of their games are digital. So in order for someone to play Hearthstone or to know about Blizzard, they have to be on the internet to begin with. So the, the viewers and the audience that Blizzard and Blizzard games have are predominantly online gamers that are on the internet to begin with. Magic players are predominantly paper players, so there's no real... Like, there's no real guarantee that those players are going to be online. So, because of that, you just have a bigger audience to pull from. Just gonna play all my cards. Chat, what do you think about the about this? Michael was saying that the three of us should find a computer game we can all play together. Isn't that called Luigi's Mansion? Like, what's the difference between a computer game and, like, a Switch game? Well, like... <sighs> You're like, uh... I don't know. Like, where we each play at our computer, but together in the same game. Oh, but why? Like, in three different rooms? Mm-hmm. That's... I feel like that'd be weird. Okay, anyway, the idea I had for the game we could play uh, is Fall Guys. I don't know what that is. Is that about a heist? Can we watch a trailer for it after this? Yeah. Okay. Wow, mono three ones and I have a two three. Seems good. Well, he's not having fun, you better cheer him up, buddy. That's true. Well, Divine Vegetation is... See, this is my biggest problem with Divine Vegetation, Super Friends. Yeah. Aside oh. the fact that it gets countered by their amazing top decks. Um, is that it just... I guess we could have played Duress first, which would have been the pro play. But it, it doesn't matter. We're still, we still take... Yeah. Every one of these guys has haste, so we still die next turn anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But um, it doesn't do anything on the board. Couldn't you activate the castle to do... I mean... Did we have... We had an Ardenbeck castle, didn't we? It's really hard to tell what you have in play on Arena for me. I mean, like, all the lands are just stacked on top of each other. The deck is weird because I feel like you want to be a... a you want to be more aggressive with your creatures, but, like, Birth of Miletus is really controlling... We also need, like, more card advantage. Like, we need ways to, like, just fill our hand. Yeah, it's not really jiving. There's something that we're missing here, I feel like. But I can't put my finger on it. I don't like Birth either. I think it's a great card, but for some reason it's not. Like, I'd almost rather have, like, Raise the Alarm. Mangara seems rough. I don't think we're going to be Mangara-ing. No? You don't want to... Do I, do I need to... Oh, I have to go, like... There you go. Yeah, th again, this is like a controlling card. Like, they have to draw two cards. They have to cast two spells or attack with two creatures for us to draw a card at all. And, like, they could just easily play around that. I don't think that's... Hmm. What if we did add green? What if we made it Abzan? And then we had, like, Garrick. We can go, like, turn... Turn... <laughs> also... They did new things on, um, in my team Discord channel, and so like now I'm getting all these notifications from it, and I just have to kind of silence them. No offense. And so, I feel like the White Oath would be better than Tim the White Oath. Really, I mean it's two twos versus three threes. I could see it though. Are they called oaths? No, you don't mean oath. You mean what are those friggin' cards called? Omen. There we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just stop, please. Please leave me alone. Please stop. I'm losing I'm losing it here. I'm just trying to concentrate and it won't stop, like. Um yeah, make two it's two one ones versus two two twos. I don't know.
I don't know. I don't know why, though. Why would this... I don't know why this would be better, though. Like, I guess you gain two life, but I don't really care about that. You get to scry two eventually. Um... That doesn't seem good. Do you have any way to put things from the graveyard to the battlefield? Oh, Elspeth Conquers Death seems great. I don't know why we don't have any of those guys. I guess we... I don't know. We're milling things with Timurat. Like, I want to put, like, an enchantment from the graveyard to the battlefield. Is there a card that does that? Daxos? What does Daxos do? What does it have to do with anything? I mean, I, don't, I just don't know how that fits the deck. Like, we're trying to make tokens, and we're trying to draw cards. Like, those are what we want to kind of do. We already took Dreadhorde Invasion out, because it's just... I don't think it's a good card. It's definitely no Bitter Blossom. Oh, what up, Dalkyrie? Um... Like, I, I just want to make sure, like, the deck, if we don't have Divine Visitation out, we still have a deck. Yeah, I feel like we don't. I'm going to be honest. I almost, like, got Eternal Oketra better than Divine Visitation. Like, it's a card that does something when it hits the board. They both cost five. This attacks on its own. And you're not going to make a 4-4 until the next turn, but you're still going to make a 4-4. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to take, take a risk here and put these guys into play. Or into the deck, rather. He's a risky biscuit. <laughs> Oh, man. And I'll play one Divine Visitation for funsies. Is Absent off the table? I don't really feel like... I feel like it's going to take a while to rework the entire deck and the entire mana base. Dalkyrie, thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. So I'm going to stick with Black White for now and see what we can do. I think your end step, you may exile an enchantment card from your graveyard if you do create a 2-2. Two -two. That guy seems decent if we have enough. I mean... I think the Agonizing Roar can go on the sideboard. Like, we're trying to be a proactive deck, not a reactive deck. Yeah. I also don't care about Drenith Magist Magistrate at all. I can't even imagine a situation where I'm like, I want a Drenith Magistrate in this deck. <laughs> Same thing with Mortify. We have four Murderous Riders and two D-Sparks. Like, I don't think there's a ton of enchantments we really care about, especially now that, uh, you know, the shitty one's gone. Um, so now we have a lot more slots to work with. I'm trying to maximize creatures and enchantments here. I just wanted you to be in the sideboard. <laughs> See, that's kind of funny. Oh, boy. What's going on here? What's this dog doing? He's sleeping in the crook of my arm. Oh, my God. Unbelievable. Like a cute boy. And so I'm offering Michael B to anyone that Garrison wants Cat. him. That's our answer. <laughs> you know, it's not terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. So I, I just think... feel like the power level of our individual cards is not very great, and they all have to work together, which makes the whole deck overall not super strong if your draws aren't going well. I'm agreeing with you completely. So I think that we either need a different goal with stronger cards individually, or a stronger way to win overall, slash way to get what we want to win. Archon of Sun's Grace seems good. Is that better than Basri's Lieutenant? Probably. Pegasus is you control have like this just whatever you in Shamaner's Battlefield you may Yeah, let's do that. Hold on. Let's take out Basri's Lieutenant. Put four Archons in. Take one Seraph out. Now we're we're going well let's let's do some enchantmenting. I'm gonna take Liliana out. I love her to death, but I don't think she works with the enchantment theme. Ugin actually removes any permanent, which is kind of nice. I'm gonna take Finale out too, because we want like now I want to bring in Omen, because I think you want more enchantments that make creatures. It's kind of like your bread and butter right now. Did you just anal gland on me? I swear to God. Oh no. God, please don't. You didn't pull that away from your face nearly fast enough for that to be an anal gland, so that's good. I don't know what's happening. I swear to God, Wally. You're never coming on the bed again if that's the case. Enchantment? What about enchantment creatures? But I guess, we're like, we're trying to split it between casting creatures, casting enchantments, and casting tokens. So I think we want to look for, like, things that overlap those areas. Enchantment creature. 
I don't think that's I think that's gonna bring up both, but Oh actually what about the uh actually that two two could be real good, which is an enchantment and a creature. Let's take that two one flyer. This thing. What is happening here? Oh, what about three and three? Let's do that, because this is legendary. And, like, we like Timur because it mills your enchantments in your graveyard, which gives you more food for Ephemia. All right. Let's try it like this. And we'll see if we got anything here. There's lots of things happening. God, you guys keep saying Daxos. You need to get over Daxos. What, now you want up here? That pulls back enchantments foretold or something? I don't I don't know what I don't know what that card is. Pulls back enchantments, what does that mean? What are you saying, Shua Garner? Yeah, I don't know what. Pulls back is not an official magic term. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike Mill. There's a lot of It's a lot of cards. There's a lot of borderless double masters there. Ow. Uh four drop, five drop, six drop. Sweet. Snap it off. We'll draw cheaper cards, it'll happen. I believe Playing against Catman. There's one. Oh wow, that is Catman. Corpse. All right. Mm, I'm just gonna play this guy because I, I'm fine with blocking here. <laughs> I mean, we could take Tidetaker out, but it's a creature for Oketra, and it also makes tokens for Divine Visitation, so it fulfills two of the, the criteria. And speak of the devil, there she be. I mean, we don't have any enchantment cards, but next time we get to go. Archon. Doom foretold with Dance of the Mance. <laughs> oh, man. Mance, it is. They played a card. This my cart was like eight twenty three. Now it's like seven thirteen. It just went down like one hundred and ten dollars. Hmm, that's pretty wild. It's your turn. Oh, I didn't actually know that. They each a beam of your upkeep each player draws a card and loses a life. Shh. I'm just blocking this guy. I think it's too good to have on the board. And ours isn't really doing much right. Oh, that would be... well, that's actually fine. We can play that next turn. Or we can play God Eternal or Ketra next turn. Oath of Kaya is good. I agree with you. I like an Oath of Kaya. That triggers an enchantment. And if you play multiple, you can get one in the graveyard. So that's okay. And so I offer you a biscuit boy. Danny B. Danny DB. Doing the things that a Danny DB does. Oh, touche. Wait, so if I play Divine Visitation, is this whenever you cast? Oh, it enters the battlefield. So we get to play this. Archon triggers immediately and gives us a 4-4. Four, four. Oh, see, this is the this is the tech. This is a way for Divine Visitation to do something immediately when it comes into play. Nice. Look at Catman. He's being very supportive. What? Our opponent. He said nice. Oh! <laughs> I didn't even see it. I always miss them because they're so small and subtle up here. Hello, Wallace. <laughs> Lord, give me strength. <laughs> Lord, give me strength. Um, it is Katie with an IE. This guy got menace? You do. Okay, we're definitely blocking you. Um, probably. It's just so piercing. Those are our sons. There's something alright. Oh, the Tide Taker died, so we got another 4-4? Oh, they're just dead, right? This is 11 in there. 
So that's cool. I think our deck is a success now. Oh yeah, Archon of Sun's Grace was the tech. That's what we're missing. The joke's on you, Mark. The dogs are mad every day. <laughs> that's their secret. And so I offer you... Why do you have these Christmas songs stuck in my head? Because I love Christmas time. Okay, you win. Let's take out Ugin. Brain eliminate. I like these doggies. Doggies. Roasting on an open fire. No, that's animal <laughs> abuse. She's right. It's not okay. Yuletide dogs being sung by a choir. Those dogs are dressed like Eskimos. And so I offer you this doggy praise. Hmm. I almost couldn't see that. <laughs> but you did see it. Is Christmas music the worst music? And why is the answer undoubtedly yes? It's You're not. wrong. It's definitely not. Um, I think we have enough lands. And so I offer Hossmania this simple phrase. Frank should dress up as Santa this year, all through December. Wow. I mean, I, I disagree personally, but that's okay. All through December. Wow, the whole month. Every day, you know what you're gonna wear. I guess that's true. I really, uh... I really have my outfit planned out for me at that point. It's a lot going on here. Yeah, it's like they made so many creatures so quickly. So we're kind of just hoping that this triggers. And we don't whiff. Okay, we didn't whiff. They hit a murderous righty. I get to draw another Melita, so we get to go Ephemia and Birth. Okay, that's not bad. I think they're a little ahead of us right now, I'll be honest with you. I think it's fine for people to not really like Christmas or Christmas songs, but I just don't like it when people try and hate on other people who are just enjoying themselves. Yes. That. Also in life in general, not related to Christmas. Thank like, you. just let people have the things they like. Okay, we're definitely losing this game. So that's something. Okay, we can't actually... Oh, yeah, we can. Get rid of this guy and make it 2-2. Now we have Eliminate up. So we can go... Blocker makes another blocker, kills a guy. Did I come to play Tapped? Thank goodness. Which is your and Katie's favorite Christmas song? Uh, anything off the Boner Jams album, pretty much. I'm sorry, what? Hmm? <laughs> What's that? Hmm. Um, Nature's Little Treasure resubscribe. Thank you! And so, don't kill my thing. Juposhi, what up, you dude? I got these, I got those hats today. Thanks. I got those hats. Dealey Coker, thank you for the gifted subs, buddy. Thank you. Okay, block here. Um, block here. Thank yep, you. Another one of these. So actually, block here and block here. So we take two. Thank you. Dealey Coker, thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate you, my dude. So block, block, we get to keep those, block here, kill this guy, we take two, go to two. It's not ideal, but it's not dead either. Oh boy, do we want either of these? I think we want both, actually. Okay. Uh, okay, we're going to play this. This will make a 2-2, this will make a 2-2. I, 
think we're actually making I think we're actually having a recovery, guys. Can you imagine? This is uh I guess we should Oh no, actually. Okay, we're doing it. I want the two life in the wall, but it doesn't do anything right now, so I guess we'll just play this. Oh, we didn't get any of those cards because we, we hit this guy. That's fine. You know what? I accept it. Alexa, play Ephemia. She's like, I don't know. Alexa, stop! <laughs> 100. Alexa, stop! I don't want to get demonetized here. So I, I can pump this guy to a 6 7. So we'd have to block with like four dudes. I ain't about that, that four dude life. I give block, Katie bits block, this time. Block. No bit for you, Frank. Okay, Frank bits too. <laughs> Wow, it was almost messed up. It was real close. Oh, they didn't even pump this guy. That's fascinating. Sure, is it non-token? Yikes. It is not. Hmm. Um, let's exile Lefemia. One, two, three, four, five. I kind of just want to play Ethereal Absolution, but I'm not going to do it this turn and take two. Mm -hmm. So we're going to play you. Get a land. Play the land. Play the Seraph. And they have three attackers, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six infinite blockers. They're at ten? Jeez. They're basically dead. This card's been great so far. Oh, we also get another token? Yeah, we'll attack for two here. Oh, this card's been fantastic. Plus, the zombies double up because they gain us. Next turn, we're going to gain, like, X life. Well, if they have a way to kill... They might have a way to deal us three here. Yeah. I don't know if Lightning Strike is, is super common in this Mardu deck, but I feel like we've done a pretty decent job of stabilizing here. I wish I had more beer. Oh, wait, I do. No need to worry. I was Wait, very... is Dealey Coker the 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 uh... foot guy? Yeah, the 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 podiatrist. Is that what it's called? Hey, Dealey Coker, do you know any radiologists that I could be friends with? <laughs> I just want some radiologist friends. It's true. Oh, I guess I could have killed this guy. That's the difference. Okay. So we gain two next turn. Yeah, this guy's fine. I mean, like, he's not doing anything for the board, and you're basically... We deal you six in the air. Oh, no, six in Ethereal Absolution, so... Yeah, you're... Yeah. You're dead. That's game, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'll keep you on top, even though it doesn't matter. Katie, I'll be your phlebotomy friend. Okay. <laughs> Guys, I think we figured out the trick. Wow, look at that. You ranked up. None outside of Iowa? What does that mean? Oh, you don't know any um, radiologists outside of Iowa? I don't think that matters. No, none of my friends live in the same place as me. <laughs> I don't even live in the same place as everybody It's true. I'm not even friends with him. Okay, let's take it easy. You're he, being, bi he big man. You're being hurtful. Dude, I forgot to pre-order the um the Hearthstone sets. I usually get the two bundles that... Oh, man, I'm really sad because they had a... Like, oh, man. Like, there's no way to, to undo that. <laughs> like, I can't be like, let me get them anyway. They're just not for sale anymore, and I feel real sad because the set was released today. Is that the Skullamance thing? Yeah. And I always get it because you get, like, the hero, and you get, like, a really good pack deal, but, like, oh. I forgot to get it. I kind of like the way our deck looks. Tithe Taker is the only, like... We can do better. 
I, I think we can. Katie, I'll be your HR friend. Okay. Was I? Okay. I'm actually very hungry right now. <gasps> Are you getting hungry at all? No. Dang, that's messed up. We ate lunch and then we went straight to sleep. Yeah, um, I don't know why I napped for so long. Like, I got seven hours of sleep and then we napped for like three and a half hours and I don't understand it. I think the bed is actually cursed. I think the bed is too comfortable. <sighs> I'm a little worried about our productivity in our years going forward. <laughs> Remember the toughness equal to your version to black. X helps two cards from... I don't care about that. I don't care about any of these, to be honest with you. Starfield Mystic. Interesting. Oh, that's actually not bad. Divine Visitation would cost three. Birth of Miletus. Yeah, try that guy. Is it Enchantment Spells? Does that count for creatures, too? Are creatures spells? I don't... I always get... There's you other mean like... enchantment creatures? No, but like any... Yes, like a, like a Ephemia. Yeah, I think if it says the title in the... Hmm, I'm not sure. I've been out of the game for too long. But we could always try it out. I think that's I think that's where we want to be. And also, I really like Divine Visitation with Archon Sun and Grace because it just puts a 4-4 into play immediately. What if we play Luris? I don't know if Luris does much. I don't actually have any Lurises. And I also have to take it off the two. I oh, I do have Lurises. I lied to you all. Three so inches has one permanent spell with permanent. Maybe that's actually not bad. It's not an enchantment creature. It's not a token, so it doesn't work with divine visitation. It doesn't work with any of. Uh... What if we put? We put. I guess we put in like one in here for like a murder for like one something. Hmm. It's got to be better than the fourth omen of the sea, right? Omen of the sun. No, get. I want you out of the deck. Because, <laughs> I mean, then you get to play. You get to just replay any of these from your graveyard for free, which is actually pretty good. Plus, the lifelink is not irrelevant. All right, let's do it. Absolution costing five seems pretty good as well. I agree with you. Oh, Oath of Kaya. That is a card. I don't know what we could cut for it, though, is the problem. What does Oath of Kaya do? Uh, it deals three damage to any target and gain, you gain three life, so it's like lightning helix. Mm -hmm. But then whenever an opponent attacks a planeswalker you control, you it deals two damage to that player and you gain two, which is not super relevant because you don't have a ton of planeswalkers. So we're just playing it to be lightning helix. Yeah, it's just a removal spell that gains you three, and it's an enchantment as we trigger our kind of sun's graves. I think we can call more over on omen of the sun. Like I'm not super impressed by omen of the sun. I just have it in here because it makes it just makes super fritz feel better. Is Heliod in format slash any good? Uh, it is in the format. I don't know if it's any good. It might be good. I've listened to your podcast all week. It's really great and informative. And Soul Mike sounds way more serious and less, oh god, this card is great with this card if you also have this card, which was his calling card before on set reviews. Keep up the great content. Thank you so much, Zach. So I really appreciate it, buddy. All right. I keep going to decks because I'm like, I'll pick my deck to play, but then you have to not do that. Oh, Katie, you're breaking my. You're playing against Clifford. <laughs> but they have a cat, cat instead of a. Do <laughs> I was like, oh, I think I had a dog there, but there's no dog there. So just me and the blankie. Just me and the blankie. Oh wow, double Starfield and it's not legendary. This, these both cost one. Oh wow, that's pretty good. I was like, what is going on right now? Dang it! I thought I had another. Hold on a second. <laughs> there we go. Okay. What are you doing right now? You fall. I don't you, know. I'm just are you are you rinsing noise. your fluoride? All right. Keep it in your mouth for thirty seconds. You know when you get fluoride and they have you. I thought the fluoride was the stuff they painted on, like with the little paintbrush. Uh, I think they do that later in life. Uh, and then they're like, don't don't eat or drink anything for like a couple hours. No, but it's new fluoride now, so you can. You can eat and drink immediately. At least it then I go to. That was not my experience recently. But when you were a kid, you, they'd give you the cup of fluoride in class, and you have to switch it around for like... In class? At school? Yeah, in public school. What? Is that weird? 
school never gave me anything to consume in class. Are you sure? Would I lie to you? You might. That's wild. Three lands. Sounds uh, Michael good. B is in our household right now. Katie, did you go up in the west? Grow up in the west? Yeah, she's a western. I'm an eastern boy. Yeah, I grew up in Montana. And I went to college in Montana. And then I went to vet school in Washington. Florida? No, is that not a thing? And then now I live in Colorado. If your elementary school passed around fluoride cups in the morning, you know it was the worst part of the day. Yeah. I, I you know, that's, it's, it's on Reddit. Like, it's a Reddit thread from six years ago. I really enjoyed it, actually, those little neon pink tablets that would adhere to all the plaque when chewed up. Like, yeah. What? My school never did this. Why would any school do this? Both the Oral Health 2020 Goals and the Institute of Medicine recommend school-based oral health programs, including but not limited to fluoride treatment as an efficient way to distribute clinical care disease prevention to a large, often at-risk population. No, that's 2020. You didn't. You weren't in elementary school in 2020. No, that's that's not my... But my point is, it still existed. 2000 here, I think this was before our time. Like, yeah, it was. Like, it was... I was way... It was a thing. I don't. I don't know how to. I don't know how to tell you guys it was a thing. Look at this. One mana. One mana. One mana. One, two mana. Play them all. Oh, I'm gonna play them all. All right. I should. Oh uh, no, that's actually fine. Timurat's not gonna trigger again, right? Um, I don't care about Birth of Miletus right now, to be honest with you. I have nothing in my graveyard. Man, black mana is really the uh, the bottleneck here. Yep. Okay, literally no enchantments for you. You have flash, so I guess I can wait. But both these guys are going to be 3-3s three when this goes to the graveyard next turn, so that's pretty alright. Plus we can crack this and, and give them another counter. It's pretty good. Oh, they're going to kill everything with, with these guys. Well, that's sad. Glad these guys are three, and glad I didn't play this. So. Really got a feel you stuck in my head here. All right. You mean Cecilia? <laughs> oh, Cecilia! Okay, I really wish it did it in the other order. I how come I can't choose which order these go in? Because I'd really rather to st I'd rather mill than scry. Obviously, that's a significantly better way to do this. Hmm. That's really annoying. I mean, it's just gonna get milled anyway, so I might as well put this on top. Yep, that's cool. Hmm. Uh, you have to turn off auto triggers in the options. Or yeah. there's a setting that lets you arrange triggers. Clearly. Can you do that from here, in your little settings thing? Yeah, probably. Auto order tree abilities. Gross. Glad I'm not playing on the Pro Tour right now. That'd be awesome. It's a big game. I mean, that's a big difference. I get to draw Oketch for next turn instead of not at all. Yeah. I also feel like I put that on the bottom, so I don't know why it's still you here. Did. But I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's a new one. It might have been, a, yeah, it might have just been a different one. Oh, Shark Typhoon for zero. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Wouldn't you rather be playing in the Pro Tour? No, not really. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a choice. I mean, I definitely choose not to to go for that. Like, it's just not a thing I super enjoy. That's fine. You just killed my, my bird? Rude. That was extremely rude. I get to scry four here? That's so many. I think I just want these. I think I want all of these, but not... I think I'll take the land, too, though. Dang. Do you want the land sooner? Maybe? So we play this this turn. Four. Next turn we play land. Oh, God. It's really kind of awkward. 
Wait, do we have any... Dang. Well, we'll just play this. I think that's fine. Then we can take the land and then the Luris. Sure. Oh, we're not playing this this turn. That's... Okay, so everything attacks your face, but then two of these dudes are going at Eugene. Eugene, Eugene! Sound like he said Eugene there. Oh, did you see that lag there? I don't know what just happened. Yeah, that was... We've just killed them if we went face. Yeah. Yeah. Or if we killed this. So basically we just gave them an extra turn. Oops. I'm, I'm going to totally oops there. Wait, where's my oops? You don't get to say oops. Why not? I messed up. There it is. That was weird. I don't think it was there the first time. It wasn't. Oh, we could have also just played Oath of Kai. We missed lethal like three different ways. Kill this guy, attack face, or Oath of Kai. We were having too much fun <laughs> making our deck work. Yeah, I was literally just enjoying the deck, so I got lost in it. So I'm not going to feel I'm not gonna feel bad. No. You can't make me feel bad. You don't have to feel bad about having fun, honey. Appreciate you. I'm going to put these D-Sparks in because I feel like this is a deck that's going to want to get D-Sparked. Companion? We don't have that. Ethereal Absolution doesn't seem great in this matchup. Man, remember that time I cast Athreos? That thing was sick. Me, me neither. Me neither. Um, I was like, did I miss it? Yeah. Me, I missed it too, though, so. Mm. I kind of like Agonize Remorse here. I'm going to take out... I'm just glad you're enjoying Brune and Stan. Buddy, me too. Me too. I don't actually like One of the Sun that much. I think it's just like a nice placeholder for beta cards. Guys, I want tacos. I don't know what to do. Are you... Okay. I was like, are you going to respond to this? You're on it. You're on it. Keep it again. Seems good. This costs five. Four, rather. These dogs are causing a ruckus. Hi, Hunty. I like how much Wally likes Hunter. Yeah, Wally wants Hunter's attention, and then Hunter's like, I don't, I'm just, it's not you, man, it's me. I don't know how to interact with dogs that well, so I just kind of. And Watson's like, get away from my mom. Hi, Wally. Wally's trying to climb up here. Okay, so you have, great, great. You guys didn't eat breakfast till like 11 a.m. You do not need dinner yet. Oh my god, they always say torchies. Out of the three it's of you. No, it's literally always Shuagarna that says torchies. 100%. I feel like I'm the only one in the house who has not tried torchies. And I feel like I kind of have to just because there's a thing that's happening. Out of Ooh. the three of you, who's the best cook? Um, Franklin It's not cooks. Michael, that's for sure. I think that I'm a pretty good cook. But I don't cook. Eliminate? Oh, fuck. That makes me sad, but... Somebody else said Torchies is good. See? Both me and Michael have had it, and neither of us is like... Juposhi is nature's little treasure who bought us the hats. Hat man. Oh wow, we get to despark that. That's pretty cool. I don't think that it doesn't actually affect the board this turn though. So I think I'm just gonna play divine visitation. I'll give them a shark if they want. I am Hat Man. <laughs> I'm gonna look up torchies because like you guys keep talking about it. Katie doesn't love it. Michael was kind of unimpressed. 
it looks all right. Like, what's the difference between torchies and like Chipotle? I, it's just like. So we murder shard of this. We despark this. That seems decent. Are you gonna bounce that? Sure. I'll get rid of Seraph because I actually think it's worse than Archon in our deck. It's not bad. It's just like if I want a taco, I want to get like a legitimate street taco. I feel like. You know, I'd like rather go to that place with the burritos that we tried. That place was banging. You could say it's slaps. Trailer Park Taco. Yeah, the hats look good. Oh wow, we got a Castle Ardenvale in play? Oh, that's nuts. I keep forgetting about this. That makes four fours. Oh, wow. oh they did. Oh man. This deck has been banging ever since we made these changes. Are yeah. we getting torchies? Look, is this a chicken tender? Yeah. Torchies Tacos is the best chain we ate at this year. Business Insider. I mean, maybe Michael and I just have no taste. Are you guys like, this is weird. Go to their menu. It's so weird because everyone seems to be like on this place, but you guys are not. How close is this place? I don't know where the nearest one is here. It was right across the road from my other house. Hold on, what's on this? Got some jalapenos here, okay. Breakfast tacos, damn good tacos, not a taco, chips and case. It just reminds me of like a like a Moe's kind of like, like a Moe's Chipotle kind of place, like a fast casual Mexican place, which is not terrible. So I'm wondering like what you guys didn't get out of it. It's interesting because it doesn't seem like they have traditional meats on their tacos. Like, here's fried chicken on the taco. Habanero batter fried shrimp. Like, fried avocado. Oh, fried avocados? Well, that sounds banging. This is wild. I feel like I just have to try because I'm the only one in the house that hasn't and it gives you guys another chance. Okay. I can only hear tacos so many times. What did you say? I can only... Oh, here's one near... Here's this kind of... These are kind of near us, right? Yeah, zoom in. Look, look at the... This one has the old school logo, and this one has the new modern logo. Mm. And this is taken in the summer, and this is taken in the winter, it looks like. Hmm. Michael's placing a pickup order. Yeah, he said he wanted to eat family dinner with us on break. There's a Utah park. Okay, so we're over here, actually. These are pretty... They're far. Pretty far, yeah. Yeah. That's way far. The, the one is down yeah, by Michael's work, he said. All right. That's when he tried it. Super Fritz, we're going to play one more. Because I think we've actually hit a, a good point with the deck so far. I almost kind of want one less murderous rider, but I feel like as soon as I do that, I'm going to regret it. Murderous rider. Hello, Robert. <laughs> oh, Rob. Rob, we got a compliment from Zaxor earlier on our podcast. He said, I wonder if I can scroll back up to it. I bet I can. Can you like control F in the chat? Here it is. I have listened to your podcast all week. It is really great and inf informative. And Swole Mike sounds way more serious and less, oh god, this card is great with this card if you also have this card. Which was his calling card before on set reviews. Keep up the great content. So. Yeah, this seems good. This guy makes this cost two. You know what I could go for? Oh, tell me. I want that sandwich that you got from... I have also, I was like, oh, Firehouse. I'll go to Firehouse again because that, that jerk chicken was banging. Surprisingly good. Because it had like that sweetness to it. Is there one of those by us? I'm pretty sure there is. I also wish they had broccoli cheese soup that day because I would have gotten that instead of mac and cheese, but. 
find a firehouse. I also think they have um, gluten-free bread. I'm pretty sure that I would imagine they do. Yeah, because my work always orders one gluten-free thing, and we always get like the party it, trays it, or whatever. I love it, love it. I kept that land on top because I do want a fifth land in case this guy dies. There's a lot of firehouses. Do you all see that woman in Florida got charged with battery for coughing on someone in a Pier 1 Imports? The end, yes, the, the correct response is good. Fast to attackers. Boom. I like these. I kind of like these lands. These are kind of sweet. Yeah, those are kind of cool. They look really like high. They kind of remind me of like Yu Yu or Pokemon or something. Okay, you eliminate that guy. But you'll never eliminate my freedom as an American. <laughs> this card is so good. Like, I'm actually shocked at how much work this card does. If they can't kill it, he likes it. Which they can. I guess you just go even and then my whole board is gone. Super sweet. I just get to slam a divine visitation. And this card next turn doesn't do anything because they were exiled, but that's. Even if they weren't, it's fine. Oh, now we can crack this. That's pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. Play this, crack this, and then. I kind of want to do it during my upkeep, though. Thank oh, that's fine. Yeah, do that. Yeah, do that. That's your turn. Oh, what up, J-Chart? <laughs> Happy anniversary, bless. Love Jimmy the Sarcophagus. I do love Jimmy the Sarcophagus. I'm oh, sorry, what? 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 We are during... Yeah, let's activate this guy. Resolve it. Sure, bro. Um, I don't need another land. Or another Murder Shrider, to be honest with you. So, I'm just going to put him in the trash. Draw him a card. Nice. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, that's Miami. That's the Florida version of Florida. <laughs> oh, it's, it's not incorrect. One, two, three, four, four. So, four, four Hydroid Crassus. Buddy, I got a murderous rider. I got a buddy. I got another murderous rider. Let's watch this pro play. I'm watching. <laughs> Legendary rule. Actually, this tiny little town we just moved to... Oh, I'm just going to eat... Oh, okay. As long as they don't eat to extinction here, I'm okay. Is that what that's called? No, extinction Thank event. I got all my extinction cards confused. Snoozle moo. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Bruh, can you even read? Who, who are you talking to? I can't. It's my greatest... Fe it's, my, it's my greatest uh, failure. I'm Kay. just wearing the green screen as a cape. To the surprise of no one. I'm gonna murderous ride of this guy too, just to be clear. How many cards they got in their graveyard? Oh, literal none? Oh yeah, they're dead. Maybe not dead, but they're not doing great. Is really. Frunk, I was talking to Rob. Well, Rob can't read, for sure. Oh, I'll feel ya. Frank's Achilles heel is reading. Fingies. <laughs> Damn it. What's going on in this chat? Well, I gotta eat soonish, but I do want to do four, join four Luigi's, some order some food, and go eat it. Now I gotta eat too, man. We all gotta eat. It's true. Thought erasure. Alright. You got it. An Esper player in my core when I miss Teferi? Yikes. No, sir. Cultivate again, huh? I got an email from Google. Jimmy the shark? Jimmy the fish? 
It was part of a class action settlement. I did too. And then I read it. And it's like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Uh, how much will I receive from the settlement? The plan of allocation provides for settlement payments to claimants as follows. The net settlement fund shall be allocated to claimants on a pro rata basis up to an initial maximum distribution of $5 per claimant. And I was like, is this Mine even worth my 12. time? No, no. Well, it does say 12. Uh, it says... You can get up to a cash payment of $12. Yeah, if like if if there's if they have enough money. Class actions are so a funny. A what? A Pokeball. I guess that's true. <sighs> so are they playing Euros? Oh, we're definitely noxious grasping here, I guess. Euros, Nissa, all their permanents are going to be green based, so. That was a Celia. Man, our kind of sun's grace is OP. Are we going to win three in a row with these changes? That would be sick. I would feel so good about my life choices. Do you know what I got? I literally have no idea. What's happening right there? Why is it doing that? Why is it doing that? I don't know. What the fuck? It's cursed. Why is it the only card that does that? Is it because it's borderless? Look at that lunch lady baby. What? <laughs> oh, wow. Rob, do you want me to show the stream your baby? What's her name? We don't talk about her much. Uh, I thought it was Frankina. Frankina! No, no. Okay. Okay. Rob wants to protect his child's privacy from everyone who's who's always supported him on the stream. Okay. Seems. I still don't know why this is doing this, but I got 25 seconds. I'll just play it like this. Oh, that's not my baby. That's a friend's. She looks like a lunch baby, lunch lady, but a baby one. <laughs> oh lord! Look at this! Look at this hand. If this was a poker hand, I'd snap it off. I don't know why I'd have seven cards, but it's yeah. a lot of cards for poker. But I agree. Okay. I'd probably be dis discommunicated. That's dis not the word I wanted, but I wanted to go with it anyway because I thought it was funny. Okay. Eh, it's a little better. I'll put this six drop. We probably gotta cut that. Actually, I don't think that does a lot in this matchup. So. How long is her beard? Don't ask a lady how long her beard is. That's rude. Very rude. You should just go up to her and measure it with a ruler. <laughs> Never ask a woman how long her beard is. Just measure it yourself. They appreciate the effort you put in. There is a poker variant where you have seven cards. Yeah, I don't know about all that, man. That sounds... Sounds like you're just making stuff up right here. I don't think they're going to play anything, so I'm just going to play this. Hello, Watson. Don't share. Kermit said, don't share other people's babies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Do you, is that a thing? Should you not share other people's babies? I don't know. Remember we had this discussion about... Baby sharing? No, remember about, like, kids in their... Like, the... if their faces should be blurred out and stuff. Do you yeah, remember I when we were having that I think it's kind of weird to do. Is Land of War Elf still legal and standard? Yes. I say that not knowing the answer to your question. <laughs> well, I appreciate your effort. Cyborg Huey says no. I'd probably believe them. That sounds correct. What is this YouTube video? How to play seven... Zaxor, I was totally kidding. I know seven card poker is a thing. I was just... It was just a joke. Watson's here. Of course he got tie. Michael will get tie every day. Well, that sucks. Wally's here. I got Wally crawling on me over here. I should have had him get me steamed buns. Steamed buns? What about hot cross buns? You hear that dog? My baby looks a lot better. God damn, this is getting... His baby does, I agree. Guys, it's not a baby contest. What up, Fabio Sliver? Look at her big, beautiful eyes. <laughs> You're not going to show stream that? No, that's... Rob, do you want me to show him your baby? Frank, you can show chat my baby. <laughs> Looking off chat. Okay. Deal. 
I was really worried you were going to be one of those really protective parents that don't want your baby on the internet. This is Rob's baby. She's being very rude. But she's too young to have her beard measured as well, so that would make me angry, too. Look at her chubby hands. Look at these beautiful eyes. Look at these beautiful baby eyes. Look at her fine, wispy hair. You probably don't even have to brush that. I would, I, I would anyway, just for fun. We can't... Oh, you can't see because it's Arena. Dang. That's true. All right, hold on. I'll, I'll, uh, it's my random desktop image. See, when it's when it's Magic Online, I just put it on the on the screen. Look at there she is. Thank you guys. Look at her chubby hands. Okay, we're gonna. They have to grow so much skin. Babies in general, you mean? Yeah. Are we dead? No, we're not dead. Like, think about how big we get and how small they start out. That's a lot of skin to grow. I wonder if I just wanted noxious and I only have two black. Black? I think we want another black and a, one fewer white in the deck. I think that's going to be the final change we make because... Well, that's pretty good. What protein do you like in steam buns? My steam favorite buns, is pork. 10, um, the last time I think it was a mixture of pork and chicken. We called it picking. If barbecue, I'm sharing though. it with Franklin, then I'll get chicken. If I'm getting it myself, I just let them put whatever they want in it. Oh, Adriana. I knew that. Kind of. Somewhere in the back of my head. Yeah, we have the same birthday. Gosh. Well, this is interesting. Are you going to send her presents from Uncle Frankie? I'll never forget her birthday. Hashtag never forget. I don't think we... We make two guys. And then we kill the Nissa, And they still have three. That's really kind of sad. There was a shitty X-Men whose mutation was just that he grew a bunch of extra skin. Isn't that, isn't that called Blob? You need to buy some skin. Why do all these people think I want some skin? I don't know if I like the Athreos. I'm going to be honest with you guys. But do you like want skin? Yes, want but those are... want you to look at him. Thank you. <sighs> just my son. So kind of new to this, but who's the new co-pilot? Oh, wow. Uh, this is Katie. I'm Katie. <laughs> That's, I feel like I said that, but I appreciate you kind of double, double checking there. Franklin is my boyfriend whom I live with. <laughs> wow. I like that they didn't know who I was in this scenario. Well, I really hate being like, I'm Frank's girlfriend, because I think that's kind of demoralizing. It is, actually. It's like in a news headline if like Tom Hanks' wife was like running for a political office and yeah. it's like wife of Tom Hanks and you're like she doesn't even have a name. Yeah, She's like just okay, cool. A stand-in character. Um, yeah, she's just like uh, 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 what do you call it? A co-star in his life. Yeah. And you're like eh, that's unfortunate. McGimp is one of my hetero life partners. It's true. I got to treat the doggy of a famous person who yeah. lives outside of Denver recently. That's true. It was very exciting. I was like, oh, that sounds cool. And she was like, it was cool. And I was like, it was oh, cool. That's cool. I'm actually going to play this here because if we play like if we play this into Timurette next turn, uh, then Timurette actually triggers. Then you could actually hit an enchantment here. So... It just gives us a better chance, but I assume they're just going to kill it. I once said she's slim, Mike. <laughs> Characters with extra skin in the X-Men are husk and skin. Ooh. I used to be a level 2 magic judge, but I have not played magic in quite some time, so I'm not really up on a lot of the current rules and stuff. Oh, look at that. We hit two Timurits. Timmy. It is not Jim Carrey or Tim Curry. What are you guys saying right now? What's the question? I think they're trying to guess whose dog it was. Oh, the famous person? Right, right, right. But like dog hippo kind of exists. Why do you think Wizards is normally game mode for cube draft with your friends at MTG? But, uh, I don't think it's... Uh, I think it's really hard for someone to like. I mean, you have to in order to. Pro like, I feel like you should know this because, like, programming on MTGO a way to upload your cube and host eight specific people rather than eight people who just enter the queue. 
really seems difficult. I don't think it's about money, because they could literally just charge more for it. They could be like 15 tickets. Like, you'd still have to pay wizards to do it, right? So I don't think it's about money. I think that's just a lot of work for something that's not a priority for most people. Yeah. Good night, relax and Sam. Sammy, have a good night, buddy. That was Sleep quick. Sleep tight. Sweet dreams. McGimp, I forgot to pre-order the, uh, what is it, Scholastic Academy? Is that what it's called? Scholomance. Scholomance Academy? I forgot to pre-order it. Is there any way for me to do that, or am I just boned? Yep, this is the exact card we didn't want to see, so that's cool. <sighs> Must be nice to always have it. But I personally wouldn't know. Because I live in a real world where... You know. What's the second half of the cardophemia? And how do we pronounce it? The cardophemia? What do you mean? The cacophony. Rob probably calls it Keiko funny. <laughs> how do you pronounce the second? A cacophony. It's an actual, it's a it's word. A, it's a word. Wrong, it's cacophony. <laughs> oh, crying out loud, dude. Why do you think they keep MTGO at a minimum in the way it looks? Because it's you'd have to literally... Because the way MTGO is built, you'd literally have to do it from the ground up. Yeah. Uh, to, to change anything on it. Like, it's just, you're not going to be able to be like, oh, I could just change this. Like, it's not about being at a minimum. It's about, I, I was, I've talked to a lot of people about the way MTGO is designed. And uh, it's not a situation where you can just be like, well, I'll just I'll just fix this. I like New Rob better. Is that the baby? No, that would be you, I think. I think you're New Rob. I thought it was New Mike. I don't know what's going on. I'm having an identity crisis. I, I definitely don't think Watsi is lazy about him for being MTGO. Like, I've talked to people and like, the way MTGO was built, it was not built to to make quick changes on the fly like that. It's just yeah. not a thing. You're old, Rob, Rob. I mean, the, the problem is uh, X-Mage, you can probably do it because it was built that way. It was built in it with a different... It's built on a different uh, system. It's built a different way. Like, if there's all kinds of... As a, not a software engineer and, and talking to people who are not software engineers, it's really hard to communicate it, but, like, it's different architecture, basically. <clears throat> no blocks. Um, I have one card. Kerwit posted something in the chat, and I just think that you need to read it. Not in our that chat. Oh, in our chat. Is it good or bad? <laughs> <laughs> this is what this is this is what Kerwit posted to the chat, and I'm pretty sure it's accurate. <laughs> So, you know. I feel like we're in good shape. Divine Visitation is going to make a 4-4 four, four immediately. We have a lot of power on the board. I mean, if they have another extinction event, we lose everything but God Eternal of Ketra. Bureau's pretty good. We'll probably just draw Murderous Rider, which is nice. They have three mana up still. It looks like they're hovering over this. Yeah, okay. There you go. Well, that's unfortunate, but... Murder Shrider. That's a swamp. Not entirely the same, but, you know, it is what it is. That doesn't trigger anything, unfortunately. So, we go block here, block here. They take two. I think that's fine. Robert's jealous. Jealous? <laughs> jealous? Hey, Robert, are you jealous? Frank, did you make an overlay? I want to co stream. Okay. Seems fine. I'm not real itchy. The whole arm. Oh, good. They're just going to kill this because they drew another removal spell. It's really good. If I start gasping for air, can, no. you, can you call an ambulance? We're in good shape. Or Michael. 
someone to take me to the hospital. If if you suck as pretty well, why would I I'm gonna call Michael? Michael, Katie's in trouble. <laughs> Alright, what do you want me to do? Cool. Either way, I think the deck is fun. It just kinda sucks yeah. that you gotta lose to Euro and, and they always had they had they had enter the what do you call it every single time and they had, they had quite a few extension uh, events, so cool. Uh, do you think we need a new MTGO? No, I don't think we... Why? I mean, like, why? You can play everything you want on MTGO. They're making slow improvements to it. Like, it's weird. It's a weird It's a weird conversation because, like, no, we don't need a new MTGO. Like, MTGO does exactly what I want it to do. I get to play Modern. I get to play Pioneer. I get to play Standard. I get to draft whatever format, and they have Cube. Like, there's nothing that I, I, I wake up in the morning and I'm like, man, MTGO doesn't let me do this, and I wish it did. Like, yeah, it just doesn't make sense. I think, I mean, I think there is a point where MTGO might get phased out, like, but if you think about it, and I've talked about this before, like, there's, like, 24 sets in Modern. Every three months, a new set is released in Magic. So, they're programming a new set for MTG Arena every three months. If you had the same pace for older sets, right, 24, 24 sets, well, I think there was 24 sets that weren't a lot, that weren't legal on, on MTGO, right? So, 24 times 3 is 72 months divided by 12 it would take six years if they were able to have the same pace to program cards of of sets that aren't on magic online or on mtg arena to, to program those it would take six years to get modern up and running on mtg arena not including like that's that's like it's just also doubling their workload right because they're already programming a brand yeah. new set every three months for arena so like it's a little unreasonable i just i just don't see arena keeping up with that in any in any sort of uh short time frame you know what i mean so just hire six times the staff and i and i can be done in one year Curl wow, can Kermit. be done are we eating and then playing gooigi yes super fritz thank you so much for letting me play this deck i actually uh i was getting this frustrated turned out cool it, i was getting frustrated for, i think the atheros can still be cut i do want to cut one planes for one more swamp because i think it's uh more important because we have double black here we don't I guess we have double white here. Double white, double white. It's weird because I still felt like we were getting more white. So we have nine yeah. to eight. I still think it's fine. I think you just want it. But there's, I think there were more black cards that we were trying to cast. Like earlier. Yeah. yeah. I think Atheris and Omen of the Sun are kind of flexible. They can pretty much be whatever you want. Um, Archon of Sun's Grace was great, especially with Divine Visitation. And, and God Eternal Catcher was also great. But um, hopefully you got some decent ideas out of this. And... Uh, Thanks for the support, buddy. I really appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.